Oh, that's a witch. Run away. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Simple Life 2 Genesis. My name is Commander Squid, and today I will be showing you this mod pack. And for the next couple of days, my plan is to play through this quest book that we have right here and show you basically what this mod pack does, what you need to do to progress in it, and things along those lines. To begin with, this is version 2.4.2, .2, and this is by 99blocks. I've played this mod pack before. Um, it's a fairly straightforward mod pack. It's a somewhat light mod pack. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles of other mod packs, but that's because it is the simple life. It's supposed to be a fairly straightforward, simple mod pack. Even according to its description, it's an immersive and rewarding questing pack with a focus on simplicity and progression. To start off with, the day has already progressed a little bit, and I might want to start thinking about building a house or something. First of all, we have a change log of how the quest, how the mod pack has like changed over time. You just have to check that, and you're good. Next up, we have an ore generation. This will list where different ores you can find them. Very handy. It's I'm going to be using this a lot later on because it's going to be very helpful. But for now, I'll check that off and move on as well. Finally. Here's an introduction. So I'm going to claim that reward, and I'm going to move along. One thing that this mod pack does have is this tool called Ore Excavation. For that one, I've had to like change the keys a little bit to unlock it. It was Ore Excavation, as you can see over here. Ore Excavation, or Excavate, is using the Grave key. That's the key to the left of the one key. Um, it also had the questing uh, book on that key as well, but I moved that over to period. Um, so let's cancel out of that. But what that allows you to do is if you hold the grave key and you like mine different things, depending on the tool of what you, the level of what you have, you can mine the entire thing. So if I use that on this tree over here, there goes that entire tree. So it's a very easy way to like mine entire like resources, and I think it's kind of just makes the um, process a little bit better, a little bit faster. I approve of it thoroughly, and I'm noticing a lot of like mod packs have them, which is very handy. So next up, another change in this mod pack is he made it so that instead of using two planks on top of each other to get sticks, you use one plank in a crafting grid to get eight sticks. It's a small change, but it's a fun one. I enjoy it. I find I generally try to ignore mobs at the beginning, just because I don't necessarily love fighting them. But in this pack, it's actually very handy to kill some mobs at the beginning. So, let us clear out our inventory a little bit. Make some room. And then let's go get to work, shall we? Another thing you might notice in this mod pack is that the chickens look a little bit differently. That's because it has a different mod in it, 
uh, what's it called, improving Minecraft, which basically means that all the natural animals, animals, if you attack them, they'll actually attack you back. So it's like, it makes them a little bit more realistic, it makes them a little bit, I'm not sure if that's realistic, but it, oh, that's a witch. Run away. Um, I don't know, but it makes it a little bit more understandable, less... Oh, oh dang, nabbit. Alright, I'm heading inside. Oh, dang, nabbit. Run. Okay, so, moving forward, let's check a couple of the quests that we have in this pack. Now, first of all, storage solutions. This one is very easy, you just have to make a chest. I've already done that, as you can see, over there. Right here. Um, nextly, that's a very easy pack to get. I'll collect the reward for that and move on. Down near my health, my hunger, you might notice that there's something that says choose a class. I believe if I press J, no, G, no, K, no, L. There we go. Okay, if you press L, it'll open up this menu, and it'll allow you to choose basically different perks that like help you do better in the world. I think what I'm going to aim for is I'm going to do the mining. That just seems to be a thing that I'm going to be doing a decent amount in this pack, so I might as well get that, choose that. So now, I have a couple of like tendencies towards mining. Mining lets me a little bit more XP. And as I go on, as I get more skill levels, I can spend skill points to improve myself even further. So it's a fun little addition. That's a, I want to say a fairly new addition to the pack. But I'm not positive on that one. Level up. Oh, here we go. This is what I was talking about. So, with the dawning of this new version of the pack, you are now able to level up, learn, and specialize in classes. Depending on your choice, you can earn extra experience and other perks from your day-to-day -day activities. Press the hotkey to open the leveling menu, and in this case, it's L. So that's just to let me know, check that, that's done. Easy peasy. I think the next thing I'm going to do is go collect some seeds. I can't quite make a good farm yet. However, that will complete a quest, and I do enjoy completing quests. So here you go. If you simply punch grass, you'll get seeds. And there you go. That quest is done. Easy peasy. Collecting that gets you a common loot bag. Okay, the next thing I think I'm going to work on is this tinkering around. Any crafter worth their salt is more than familiar with how to tinker. So in exchange for a small amount of work here, you can receive a full set of tinkering tools and open up some slightly more interesting elements of the Tinker's Contract system. Uh, completing this quest unlocks four tinkering around. So this one's pretty simple. You just grab a normal crafting table. There you go. You put it in your crafting grid and you get a crafting station. Ta-da! Job's done. Alright. Let me move everything around a little bit. Okay, let's put those there, there. Let's put the crafting station there. Let's claim everything in that. Cool, and then I have a stencil table. So stencil, pattern, part builder, tool station. And that's the setup basically for Tinker's Construct. So, over here in Tinkering Around, you can see one of the first quests, the Tinker's Basic, requires us to make four blank patterns. Um, to begin your journey in Tinkering, you will need a guidebook and some basic materials. We'll start with making some patterns in the crafting station. The recipes for both paper and pattern stencils have been adjusted. Check the JIE for new ones. So, as I was saying earlier, what you have to do for the blank patterns now, you can see over here, the blank patterns, you need paper and a stick. Paper is changed as well. You don't use sugarcane, you use uh, pestle and mortar, you use saplings, and you use bone meal. That's one of the reasons why it's important to grab bone meal in the beginning, because you are going to use it. So let's start with the mortal and pestle. That's the easiest one. You just have a bowl, a stick above it, or a plank above it, and a stick. 
Rod and Pestle. Done. Next, let's use some Bone Meal. Oh. Let's use that uh, Pestle and Mortar. Let's use some Bone Meal, and let's use a Sapling, and get some Paper. Um, let's make a few of these just cuz. Okay, so that gets us six Paper. Finally, let's use Sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And patterns, paper, to get blank patterns. Now that's a one-to-one. -one. one paper equals one pattern. That's going to do it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed. If you liked what you saw, then feel free to comment, subscribe, or do whatever it is you want to do. With that, I will say, achu. Have a great day.